Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you all so much for clicking on yet another episode. I would give you a last time, but as soon as we boot up this save, our boy Zach is going to is going to fill you in on what happened in the previous two episodes. This episode, my friends, is when we start the process that is absolutely going to dismantle the mechanics of this game and allow us, Zach Fair, to become so overpowered. Without further ado, uh, by the way, help me make this my most viewed series ever. It really needs the help right now. It is it is hurting. I need likes, comments, shares, all that stuff. Help me out. All right, let's get started. And let's see what happened in the previous two episodes. What's with Angeal? How long is he gonna slack off like this? It's already been a month. Sephiroth's no help either. Lumping Angeal together with Genesis. Genesis is a deserter who took a bunch of seconds and thirds along with him. He used copies of himself to attack us. Angeal wouldn't condone something like that. His soldier honor means way too much to him. <sighs> Everything's so messed up now. Angeal, just come back to us. Soldier second class, Zack. That would be me. Who is this? Director Lazard wants to see you. Go to the briefing room. Hey, wait! Who was that? Any word on Angeal? He hasn't contacted his family either. <sighs> so what's this about? A new assignment. I want you to go to the hometown of our missing soldier first class, Genesis. Huh? According to the parents, they've had no contact with Genesis whatsoever. But they can't be trusted. Why? They're his family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had already dispatched some staff, but we've lost contact. I want you to go and investigate. He will go with you. Song of the Turks. This job is looking really gloomy. Hmm. Let me know when you're ready to go. It's Sung, my friends. Sung of the Turks, who has been added to our DMW, giving us a new limit break. This time it is Airstrike. So appears a month has passed, and Jeel is still a darn dirty deserter, but that doesn't make sense because, as we know, uh, honor can be quite the burden at times. Very interesting. So, obviously, they're going to tell us a little bit more about these DMW stuff and how it's connected to Zack's memories. And actually, we will be able to get videos and images and all of this stuff that kind of fills in some of the character backgrounds and, and things that we didn't see on screen, according to the DMW. Oh, excuse me. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, it's Kunsel. Did you read my mail? Not yet. I'll read it later. I'm in a meeting in the briefing room right now. Gotcha. Hey, can I talk to you after that? I'm kind of busy, but if you can keep it short... Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll be outside the briefing room. And we get unlock summon mode. Don't worry about that because we're not... We don't want that right now. That's actually that's actually something that will really break how I want to break the game. So we don't want any summons. When you acquire summon material, the DMW will now sometimes enter summon mode, where all the real images change to summons. When all three reels match, you can call forth powerful summons like Ifrit, like what we just fought in the previous episode. So register for missions where you can acquire summon materia, like 811, which means we do not want to do 811 right now. And we get a bunch of mail. Let's go ahead and see what we got there. Kunsel sent us a mail. What do they think about Angeal? 
It seems every soldier first class has a quirk or three, but I think Angel has a lot of common sense and is a trustworthy fellow. Let's face it, Genesis never found group activities appealing, so Angel is, in fact, the spiritual leader of Soldier. I've got a lot of respect for him, too, and I envy you for getting to work with him so often. Okay. And they also gave us a new category for useful tips. And the very important one that we want to focus on right now is magic pot tricks. If you acquire the item below, magic pot's image will be added to the DMW. Magic pot tricks, look for a magic pot in missions like 10 to 3, Master Tonberry, and satisfy it. When all three images match, the limit break item mugger will become available, which, my friends, is how we are going to break the game. Now, we're not going to talk to Sung just yet. Instead, we're going to leave and see what Consul has for us over here. Before you go out on a mission, you should always remember to check the supply pod. I totally thought that was Consul. You know, it's not him. Because we're not notified when it's been restocked. Oh, okay. Rumor has it that it's because of the company's cost-cutting measures. <sighs> Shinra, man. Anyways, we can go over here and grab a Thunder Materia. And let's leave the briefing room. Hey, Consul's Zach. out here. There we go. Word of advice? You should go places and do stuff before missions. You know, so you don't have any regrets. So, what do you say we go down to one and head to Sector 8? Huh. Here we are, Sector 8. Okay, now we should split up. Why did you want this? Wait, what? You brought me here just to ditch me? Don't you get it? This is for you. You usually have so little time before assignments, and you can get more done if you're on your own. If you want to go back, go that way. See you, Zach. I'll be in touch. All right, see ya. Now, this is super important. There are a ton of missables that you can actually, well, miss in Final Fantasy Crisis Core, and the reason for that is because there's a new game plus. So they kind of just assume that, oh, don't worry, if you miss it, you'll come back and you'll be able to get it. But let's talk to some NPCs. This is Sector 8, the place for entertainment. If you walk from the fountain toward the clock tower, you'll get to Loveless Avenue. Hmm. If you go up the stairs there, you can go to the Sector 1 station. From the station, you can catch a train to the Sector 5 slums. Hey, thanks, random man. You don't have anything to say to us? That's fine, you're ugly. Excuse me, but are you with Soldier? Soldier Operative Zack, yes. Zack? <laughs> I've never heard of you. You must be Soldier Second Rate. Coming from a Sephiroth fan, come on. We were just talking about who the greatest soldier member is. For me, it's Angeal. He's so straight-laced and thrifty to boot. If we're talking about the greatest in soldier, I can't think of anyone other than Sephiroth. Just imagining him walking around shirtless is enough to make me swoon. <laughs> Same, girl. You two don't know what you're talking about. This is the age of Genesis. There's nobody better in Soldier than him. Soldier first classes have a big female following, it looks like. Oh, Zack. He says he wants to be a hero, but really, he just wants fans. Also, I gotta I gotta go with the Genesis fan here, my friends. What sets Genesis's fan club apart is that we're better funded than other fan clubs. We have a very generous sponsor that's backing us, and we sell various merchandise too. Oh, I How want some. It? Would you like to join Red Leather, the premier Genesis fan club? Red Leather? <laughs> Count As me a in. Of new membership, you automatically gain a chance to win a replica of Genesis's rapier. Oh, it looks like you just received your first newsletter. Nice. Let's go ahead and see what we got for mail there. Genesis Fan Club Newsletter 666. This issue is for newcomers to Red Leather. <laughs> I just love that name. As a welcome gift, here is some basic information about Genesis. His hobby? Reading. He happened upon a copy of Loveless in his parents' study. It has been his favorite work ever since. 
why he joined Soldier, the heroics of Sephiroth, who is the same age as Genesis, inspired him to work for the good of the worlds. We'll update you on any new information as it becomes available. All right, lead, lead, red leather, yellow, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, yellow leather, red. You know what I mean? Would you like to join Keepers of Honor, a fan club dedicated to Angeal? Absolutely. You now, you'll get our recent newsletters that include bits of Angeal's official profile. Now, we want to join all of these fan clubs because, well, we're a fan. Welcome. You are now an official member of Keepers of Honor. See? You just received your first newsletter. Oh, sweet. And this one. Angeal Fan Club Newsletter 311. Hello, fan club members. Let's take another peek into Angeal's unauthorized profile. Favorite hobby? Doting over dogs. The bigger the hassle, the cuter the dog. You know what? As somebody with a hassle of a dog, I gotta agree. Favorite read is Famous Gardens Monthly, a magazine on various flora published by Shinra. Isn't that just like the noble, nature-loving man we all know and love? We'll let you know when we have more to share with you. See, I just... Angeal is such a cool dude, man. I love him. Uh, what about the Sephiroth fan club? Within Soldier, there's no one more popular than the hero Sephiroth. I mean, that is true. Which explains why he has so many fan clubs, from big to small, casual to utterly devoted. There's just too many to count. That's why it's important to look for a fan club that suits your needs. Wait, yeah, I can't join you? Within Soldier? Which uh, is that's whatever. Bye. The only fan club we are unable to join right now, apparently, is the Sephiroth one. I feel like that's like a... A, a big, a pretty big foreshadow of what's to come, you know? Do you say anything? Hey, this train looks familiar. Look at Shinra off in the build, off in the distance there. Uh, if you're watching, that's not a Mako reactor. That's Shinra HQ. Miles. Anyways, we can come over this way. Let's find more people hanging around. I love the detail in the, the way they were able to do. Ah, oh, it just looks, man. They did such a good job with this remaster, and I just, I'm, I love it. What are you doing, buddy? That getup. Are you with that Shinra outfit, soldier? Yup. I hate Shinra with a passion. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, I mean, no. That seems rude. Anyways, we'll also see that there's a Midgar, the smash hit musical. I just, the, uh, it just feels like the world's alive. Like, yeah, there's not that many people hanging out here, but it at least feels like it's alive, you know? What about you? I'm sorry, but soldier guys don't interest me. Oh yeah? Well, random people on the street don't interest me. What is up with all this soldier hate? I actually really like that they do that. I feel like Zack kind of needs to know that, hey, you know, not everybody worships them. You know what I mean? Also, these vending machines. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Y'all played Remake? All right. Well, this is Sector 1 Station Platform. We're not going to head there just yet. Let's head back the way we came. There's actually a staircase right here that will lead us back down to the fountain area where we can talk to this soldier. Lately, we're seeing more and more reporters. Sniffing around for a scoop on Shinra. I was chasing after one who had snuck inside the building. But I lost him. We absolutely cannot allow confidential information to leak to the public. I will catch him. So, after talking to him, we can go talk to more folks, see who's around. I love the posters. I really do. They just add so much. Anyways, we'll hear that this is Loveless Avenue, which is a way that we want to go, and I highly recommend doing that now because there is stuff that we can get. This is the man that gave us a little bit of a little tutorial on where we were. So let's head to Loveless Avenue. Look at all the people. There's so many people. Hello. Oh, a soldier guy. Sorry, not interested. I Apologies. But my heart's already set on someone else. I, w I was literally just saying hi. Holy cannoli. Everyone in Midgar just like thinks if you wave at them that you want to sleep with them. Which like, maybe. But anyways, this is the soldier that is super important that you talk to ASAP. This is a missable mission. You want to make sure that you unlock this and get it. Oh, thanks for patrolling Midgar. 
You're with Soldier, I see. But what business do you have here? Well, no business, really. It is the duty of the 18th Squad of the Shinra Security Department to patrol the streets of Sector 8. Anyone who disturbs the peace in Sector 8, soldier or not, will be dealt with. Whoa now, take it easy there, guy. This is actually good timing. I have something to say. What Midgard needs right now is not soldier. Um, what do you mean? Who is it that finds lost children and takes them back to their mothers? Who is it that catches the crooks who steal change from vending machines? Who is it that warns young people talking loudly on their phones in trains? Frickin' that cops, is dude! all us. So, who Midgar really needs is the Shinra Security Department. Yeah, uh, thanks for your service? <laughs> you won't be so arrogant for much longer. We'll be holding a joint training session with Soldier soon. Security against Soldier. We'll find out soon enough who the true elites are. <laughs> Spoiler, it's Soldier. And we get the new mission one, uh, M121. <laughs> it's Soldier and the Turks that always get the attention, but that's about to end. At this next joint training session, the security department will prove its worth. Yeah, I don't know about that. Anyways, that is a missable mission and you do want to collect that now or you don't. You just don't get it. Also, the kids look kind of creepy. Kids in games look creepy. Is that, is that just me? They just, they always do. What about you, bud? This is the busiest part of Sector 8, nicknamed Loveless Avenue. Loveless is considered a literary masterpiece. They've even made it into a play. Do y'all see this right over there? Do y'all see this truck? Does that truck look familiar to anybody? Anyways, we got a mail from Shinra News, personal announcement 0012. Effective today, Rufus Shinra has been appointed to vice president and corporate officer. Additionally, Rufus Shinra has departed on a long-term business trip, the details of which cannot be disclosed for security reasons. That's our first word about Rufus Shinra. Very cool. Out of curiosity, those of you watching, and a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres of these videos, out of curiosity, what order would you say to play the Final Fantasy VII universe in? I would say, this is just me, I would say that you would want to play the OG Final Fantasy VII first before ever touching this game. In fact, I think that this game is probably made worse if you don't play the OG Final Fantasy VII. So you play OG Final Fantasy VII, then you play this, then you play... Well, okay, some people don't want to play Dirge of Cerberus. I think Dirge of Cerberus is great. But, like, I would argue, story-wise, Dirge of Cerberus after this, and then Remake. There are some things that happen in Remake that, that like, Dirge of Cerberus actually kind of, uh, ex you know? You kind of need that info. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. My ride here? It can hit 140 mph. <laughs> That's true. It's got a good engine, of course, but the real secret is in those tires. Okay. Thanks for letting me know, buddy. Anyways, so this is Sector 8, the Loveless Avenue. You're with Soldier? N n nothing to see here. I'm a c c civilian, and I'm very busy. Please don't talk to me. What did you do? What do you, I, it's like, you got, you got like, you got like some, you got something going, you got like drugs? You got like drugs up your butt? What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Anyways, nothing over here. Look at the theater. Look at the mad Marlboros. Ah, just all of the little details. Yeah. Raise your hand if you love this game. My hand's raised. You can't see it, but my hand's raised. Let's go ahead and talk to this person. Loveless, an epic tale of doomed love and shattered friendships. It's a classic that's even been adapted for the stage and a production is put on every year. I am a member of the study group, a fan club devoted to Genesis. We oh. study Loveless to gain deeper insight into the work that Genesis loves so much. We began as a group that studied the Loveless text within Red Leather, another Genesis fan club. However, we grew tired of the shallow fandom prevalent in Red Leather, so we broke off from them. Shallow and pedantic. So. 
Would you like to join the study group and delve deep into the Loveless text? Like Genesis? Actually, very much so, yes. A thousand percent Welcome. yes. You are now a fellow worshipper of Loveless. I have oh, a confession to make. I think you just got new mail. Why don't you take a look? I actually love Loveless. I, 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 I really, I think it's, I think it's fun. Loveless on stage is as popular as ever. This year's production retains the love story from the female point of view, with the focus on acts two and three as usual. This interpretation features additional scenes of the two friends, making it closer to the original text. Acts two and three of Loveless have become famous thanks to the plays, but pundits agree that the story's true value lies in act four. Could this year's production make up for it? Join us as the Theta, as we decide for ourselves. As like a theater person, I just, I just Loveless love it. Loveless is an epic poem constructed in five acts, but the final act has been lost and its content is unknown. How cool is that? And as like a, as like a, a little bit of a, like a literary nerd, that would be so, oh man. X2 and 3 though have practically become common knowledge at this point. There is a stage version after all. Genesis and his research into Loveless have gained a lot of attention in some academic circles. Like, imagine, imagine, like, Paradise Lost having, missing an entire act, you know? And we can't go this way, unfortunately, so let's head back to the fountain. So we did everything that we could do here. We've talked to everybody. But if we come over to Sector 1 Station Platform, we haven't been over here yet. That's the place that I said oh, I'm going to come back in a second. Let me just go grab those missable things. We can talk to some more folks. Quite a while now, but it still hasn't come in yet. Lately, there's been a lot of delays. We will be coming back to this area, but I highly recommend talking to some of the Chin kids Railway's here. Railway's new locomotive is pulling in soon. Its model name is the Mark 932. I can't wait to see it. Oh man, I'm so pumped. Okay. Now, remember that these I kids are here. I see the new Shinra train with my big brother. I can't wait to see it. Oh man, I'm so pumped. The, the, her voice and also, Shinra, they're can't... so pumped. I just wanted to point out that those kids are here. There will be a little something later. And we'll want to remember the location of these, these chillins. All right, now we're going to head to Shinra HQ. Which is exactly where they told us it was. At the, when we first came in here, the guy was like, Hey, you want to head back? Or your console was like, go this way. So that's where we're going to go. And there is more that we can do here. There is the materia room on the soldier floor where we can perform materia regeneration. If we bring them a Mako stone, they can turn it into materia for us. And those can be obtained through missions and other means. So keep that in mind. Again, super important. This is a chapter where we are, this episode, this chapter is where we are going to start the process to break the game. On potions. Highly recommend talking to this employee anytime you come into Shinra HQ and actually kind of abusing this trick if you can. There's no reason not to. The general public still has to pay full price, but for soldier members and Shinra troops, they are currently free. How about you, sir? Would you like one? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You feel good enough to weather one beating on the battlefields. And that will actually give us the raise status, meaning if we fall in battle, we won't lose. We'll be resurrected. It's like using right the now, Phoenix down, but general, solo. How about now, if we check our status menu here, we can actually see in the underneath our level there. It says level six. You can see the cursed ring is still equipped, showing that no DMW is going to split. But also you can see the raise uh, status is is on us. So that's going to be pretty useful. Let's go ahead and talk My to these folks. lost inside the Shinra building. I was so worried, but the young lady at the information center was able to help me. Thank goodness. That's one thing about the Shinra company. They always offer service with a smile. Oh, I'm sure they do. Now, that guy's voice sounds incredibly familiar. Wow! So this is the Shinra building. This is my first time here. 
All right. Well, see ya. There's another room there. That's the exhibit room. And we can talk to the people Good that day, work sir. here. Welcome to the Shinra Building Information Center. Please come see me anytime you have questions concerning the Shinra Building. And we can see all of these different questions about my Zach schedule. Of soldier. Let me just check your schedule quickly. You have a meeting scheduled with Mr. Sun in the briefing room. And what about the Shinra, the Shinra Building? The Shinra Building is a secure facility. Access to all areas is controlled by employee ID. Members of Soldier have access through the second floor elevator to the exhibit room and the soldier floor. You should know the exhibit room and the entrance area are open to the public during business hours. And what about Sector 8? Exiting the building takes you directly to Sector 8. You may find it refreshing to venture out into Sector 8 while you're on standby for the next mission. There is a train station in Sector 1 where there's a train to the Sector 5 slums. And I'm all set. And oh, what about you? Hello there. Hi. If you need help with anything, please let me know anytime. Hey, he's pretty cute. Ooh, I could. Uh, hi. Oh, that's it. You're Soldiers, not gonna. He can't stop coming by to talk to me. He must be enthralled by my outsized allure. Uh, I mean. Oh, well, they just can't help themselves. I kind of just am interested in the fact that I can read your mind. And so unfortunately, oh, well. she just keeps repeating the same oh, thing. I wish you could, like, keep talking to her to get a new dialogue option, but she can't. And there's a save point here that you could use if you want it. A new mission is available because we just unlocked them. Don't worry, we're going to be doing a lot of missions. But first, let's check out the exhibit room. Look at this. If you... It's just like... It is a Final Fantasy VII fans just, just dream in here. The Shinra Model SA-37. Looks awfully familiar. Look at that. Wonder what that is. Huh. Airship high winds. Interesting. Wonder. What? Oh my god. Oh, I'm just nerd, nerd, and oh, it's so nerd. And what about this? The Hardy Daytona. Yo. Hey. Hang on. I gotta. I got. I gotta show you something real quick. Hang on. You could. uh... You can say I like I like Final Fantasy. Does that does that motorcycle look familiar at all to you? Does it does it look does it look? I'm a grown man. My friend Miles and I actually at PAX East got to got to ride on that motorcycle. In fact, my friend Miles, my, Mr. Miles TV here on YouTube is also doing a Crisis Core series. I'll put the link to that in the description below. His is from a very different perspective, though. It's his first time ever playing the game. How do I make her realize my feelings? Oh, you heard nothing. I, I, that's not true. I heard, I heard that. Look at this. A little, a little introduction about Shinra, and also look at that world map. If you're, listen, if you played the OG Final Fantasy VII, that looks nice, don't it? Such an iconic world map, actually. And this car, not very special. The Shinra Model PA-86. That leads us back to the entrance. And what about you? This is the Shinra number 26 rocket. Oh. A conceptual model of the project that Shinra Space Development has put all their efforts into in recent years. Once completed, it's on to the launch. Huh. I wonder how long until that launches, that... Shinra number 26 rocket. I wonder who'd be working on that. I wonder if the same, I wonder if, you know, I I just, I'm just curious. <laughs> I came as soon as I heard the exhibit room was open to the public. The Shinra company's achievements are simply amazing. This room is a testament to that. I'd say. And what about you? The exhibit room is open to the general public. We ask that you refrain from any conduct that would disturb our visitors. All right. Well, see ya. And we're going to head back to the soldier floor. The load times. Hey, Zach, you're wanted in the briefing room. The load times on PS5, my friends, are just so wonderful. There's a Turk waiting, so you should hurry. I had no idea things were so hectic. Sorry I distracted you. 
Uh, no, no. We're not... We're not gonna head over there. Ugh. For real? We'll let him tell us the where it is. rooms... Right there. You see it? Man, are you all right? You better <laughs> go now, Zach. Hey, good luck out there. I'll mail you when I have time. Thanks, Gunsel. Anyways, we're not going to go to the briefing room, even though we know where it is. If you take the elevator there, one of the girls at the information center is uh, pretty cute. Yeah, apparently she she and she knows it, actually. Uh, so gotta like a, a woman with confidence. You know what I'm saying? I don't suppose you've noticed all the specialized rooms on this floor. We have the briefing room, the materia room, and the training room. All these facilities provided just for us. It's good to be in soldier. Why don't we check the training room before we go anywhere else? And we can see that squats are happening. Hello. Fitness checks are an important obligation in soldier. Because of your exposure to Mako, maintaining your health can be quite complicated. So for those that don't know, some of the backstory of Soldier, Soldier is actually the the people that are in Soldier are kind of infused with Mako, if you will, exposed to high levels of Mako. That's actually why their eyes glow. All of their eyes glow with that that life stream color there. If you played the any of the other Final Fantasies, you know why Soldier is exposed to Mako, but it's pretty important to know going forward. This is the training room, where we gauge the physical fitness of soldier members. You're soldier's second class Zack, right? Yes, we'll be testing your fitness someday. Let's hope it goes well. Let's hope it does. And of course, the soldier, the soldier workout of choice is squats, and that's it, just squats. They actually don't do anything else. And let's head to the Materia Room, the last room we can go to before we start absolutely breaking the game. Y'all ready for this? Let's go ahead and talk to this guy first. Naturally formed Materia are extremely rare, but Mako Stones are relatively easy to obtain. A Mako Stone is crystallized Materia, made of concentrated Mako energy. It doesn't function as Materia, but if we process it here, we can make it into Materia. Soldier sometimes runs Mako Stone excavation missions. You should go sometime. Hmm. And we get 821 added a new, the yet another is, new mission. Is the concentrated essence of Mako energy in crystallized form. Naturally formed materia is virtually non existent. The reason being, it takes special conditions and many years to form. Most of the materia being used today were made artificially, either here or by the people over at Arms Development. And we also know that that's not necessarily true. There have been large sources of natural forming materia that we'll find throughout our journeys throughout the Final Fantasy VII universe. And one more researcher to chat with. I used to be a member of the science department. Right around the same time Lazard became director of Soldier, I was transferred here. Well, it was more like I was headhunted out of science. So. Where are you now? So science and materia are different things? Interesting. Anyways, the reason why we came to the materia room there is just so that we could grab that mission. And again, trust you're gonna want it. Let's talk to this guy first. Hey, Zach. I hear that you were quite the hero in the Wutai operation. They say you must have taken out about a thousand Wutai soldiers in Fort Tamblin. But don't forget, I'm gonna be the next one to make first. Me. Uh... I don't know about that. You don't even have a name, so I doubt it. Anyways, it is time, my friends, to break the game. And now that we've explored th what we can of of Midgar and learned a little bit about Loveless and joined a bunch of fan clubs, it is time to do missions. A lot of missions. Now, again, one of the ones that I mentioned being super important to not to do is one that is going to lead to getting more summons. We do not want any summons. So keep that in mind as we 
proceed through all of these. The only mission that we have done so far is the very first mission, training missions. So let's get started. We are going to go to the M8 missions here, not the M1. We're not going to do those because that will give us rematch with Ifrit right away. We do not want Ifrit. I cannot stress that enough. If you want to do this trick, if you want to, uh, to be super powerful, I highly recommend not adding anything to your DMW. Super, super important. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to complete all of 8-2's missions. So 8-2-1, 8-2-3, 8-2, you know what I mean? And those will give us Mako Stones, which will then turn into Materia. That is going to allow us to do some really cool things. So let's get started. A spirit Mako Stone has been detected in the slums of Sector 6. Mako Stones are invaluable as research material for Materia generation. Hurry to the slums and obtain the Mako Stone. Let's do it. Listen to that music in this mission, it's so good. So something that is super important, and I've mentioned it before, is that we want to skip random encounters in a lot of these missions. But we can go ahead and grab this chest first, which is going to contain a potion. And you'll actually see that we have a little counter that tells us how many potions we actually, or how many treasure chests are in each mission. So right now, we got the only one out of one. And we have to fight this over here. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. And we're going to try to dodge as much as we can. Watching those poison gazes. And try to dodge out of thunder. Thunder is not good. It does a ton of damage. As you just saw. So we'll hopefully finish off a couple of these. Or at least one. And let's go ahead and blizzard. Whoa, watch that thunder. And assault twister. Doing a tremendous amount of damage. Oh yeah! And there we go. Fly eyes have been defeated, and the Spriggan enemy was defeated, and we will get a Spirit Mako Stone. So that is our first mission completed. Well, technically second, but. And we're just gonna keep going through all of these different missions here for a H2. The next one is a two-star mission, which means it's a little bit harder than the one we just did, and we'll get a Vitality Mako Stone. We've detected a reaction from a Vitality Mako Stone in the suburbs of Medil. You'll most likely encounter monsters in the area. Use caution as you make your way to the stone. Oh, one of my favorite tracks. It's so good. So, again, we're just going to avoid random encounters, grab the chests that we can as we go through, and you want to kind of look out at the wall. A lot of times, you'll get the encounter if you're looking at the... if you're looking in. So it's not just about hugging the wall, it's also about looking at the wall. I know. It's... it's sad. <laughs> it's sad that we have to do it this way, but we do. Anyways, we can now fight Activate this enemy combat. here. And it looks like we have three of them. These are Grass Strike. They are a little bit easier than the other enemies we were dealing with. And we'll Assault Twister. Oh, unfortunately, was not able to get the... And we just want to... Whoop! Now, again, guarding is something you can do, but I just... I never do it. Oh, man, missed. There we go. We defeated one Gas Strike. And we are still rocking the the curse ring, and that actually is still for a reason. And I'm noticing we're gonna have to use the shop before our next mission for some potions. And there we go. Both gas all three gas strikes have been defeated. And we'll receive a vitality Mako stone. These missions are very simple. And, uh, well, we can do them, we can do them all right now. Let's go ahead to the shop, though. We have enough gil where we can buy a few potions. We're just gonna buy 20 so that we're all set and ready to go. Now, there is also something called the ASAP challenge here in Crisis Core, and I'm genuinely curious if anybody has ever heard of it, and even better yet, have you tried to undertake it? The way that the ASAP challenge works is that without progressing the story, you complete everything that you possibly can as it becomes available to you, meaning you complete every single mission that you possibly can right now as early as you can. It does 
obviously break the story of the game because you become just a little too powerful, uh, which we're going to do that anyways. And th in fact, the work that we're doing right now would allow us to do the ASAP challenge. We still technically would be doing the challenge right now. We haven't progressed the story in any meaningful way at all. So the ASAP challenge, if we wanted to do it, it's live. It's happening. Let me know in the comments below. Is that something you'd want to see? Anyways, let's go ahead and do another mission. This time, it's a magic Mako stone. A reaction from a magic Mako stone near Mount Corel. Ooh, let's see what it do. We could also go and just make sure that uh, the fire armlet is still pretty good to have. It is better than pretty much everything else that we can do right now. The bronze bangle is going to make uh, give us 10% more health, but I don't think 50 health is that big of a deal. The blizzard blade is still very useful, and blizzard can actually go away now, and I would maybe recommend using something else instead. Fire is very useful and very good, so we're just going to go ahead and use that. And same treat here, only one chest available on this mission. We're going to go ahead and make sure that we grab this chest while looking in and avoiding random encounters. The random encounters and a lot of these missions is actually going to be what kills you. So we're just gonna keep this going and the enemy is right there. Out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and use fire here because it's really good against the bird. Watch that. Oh, did not wanna get hit by that thunder. And you saw how much damage that bird was actually able to do to us there. We really want to make sure that bird goes down, well, first, before dealing with the gas strikes. We know we can deal with gas strikes. So we'll take that one down. And get those assault twisters up. Whoop. And let's see how much Blizzard Blade does. Not enough damage to justify. Look at that, another mission done. These are fairly quick to do, especially these M2 missions. And we have a new mission. Let's go ahead and let's knock it out. This one is an HP Mako Stone in the Plains. Four treasure chests, by the way, located in this mission. What a cool area! Oh my god! Where's the chocobo? Where's where's the chocobo farm? That's what it looks like. This mission can be a little bit tough just because you don't really know where the boundaries are. Uh, these, by the way, is is how you would check. But the target that we need is up in the corner. So we're gonna go this way. We won't actually be able to go around. But again, we want to keep our eyes this way. We can always come back to grab those treasure chests. There's nothing that's like super important to grab. But if you can go around the outer rings and grab everything, might as well. A magic up right there, that's actually not terrible to get right now. And we can also grab this as well for a high potion. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can find this last chest, actually, before we go ahead and tackle the, the enemy that we need, which is right there, by the way. And it's right over on the other side. Super easy, actually, to get all four of those chests. I was a little worried that some of them would be out in the open, but nope, we're all good. And that, my friends, was an X potion. Heck yeah. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. And these are bat eyes. We're gonna see if we can take them out while watching their gaze. We do not want to get hit by silence. And again, we have no access to the DMW here because I'm still using the curse ring, and I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do the same. I also would recommend buying, so we bought potions, but I would also recommend buying some ethers as well, just so that, whoop. And you'll be seeing that we're going to be using a salt twister a ton. In fact, a lot of speedrunners actually will use pretty much solely that. Now, it won't matter because we're out of... Now, we want to dodge those Blizzaras because those will do a ton of damage. Watch that glare. Assault Twister is just so, so good, especially getting those abilities down. 
and we get an HP Mako Stone. So you see what I mean? These missions really aren't that difficult. And while we are buying some ethers, I also highly recommend just picking up some remedies here as well, especially for the next mission that we're going to be tackling, which is going to be 824. 825. Wow, we're cruising. All right, let's go ahead. Let's do this one. A reaction from an attack Mako Stone in the wasteland northeast of Cosmo Canyon. Canyon. Can Canyon. Canyon. Two chests in this zone, so we're going to go ahead and grab those. And you really want to avoid random encounters here, friends, because this is a four-star mission. Activating and we don't want to deal with those, even though they look really cool. So the way that we'll leave is just run against the edge, and we'll be able to escape. Now, you saw those Mandragora that actually spawned there. Or one Mandragora and two bombs. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Uh, unfortunately, we're just going to run this way so we can grab that chest. The Mandragora are... They can do a bunch of status afflictions, and the main enemy that we'll be fighting in this mission can also do a ton of status afflictions against us, including poison, silence, all of that. We cannot be silenced here, or we will have a very hard time winning. Activate this is the enemy we mode. need to fight, and we're just going to start spamming fire as much as possible and making sure that we dodge those Mandragoras and try to focus down the slaps as fast as you can. Everything here is weak to fire, which is useful for us. And that's why you don't want to get hit by Blizzara. Mandragora's done. We now only have one Mandragora. We're going to go ahead and use a potion here. And watch the voice. There we go. So even though we're level six, we literally have not gained a single level since the beginning of the game. You can still do these missions fairly easily. And if you've leveled up any of your materia by having the DMW active, especially fire materia, like stuff like that's gonna go even faster. All right, friends, we have one last one to do, and this is a luck maggot, ma uh, Mako stone, Mako stone, a reaction from a luck Mako stone in the mithril, mithril mines. Let's go ahead. Let's tackle the last mission we can here. And look at how beautiful this. Is. Oh my gosh! This is actually my first time seeing this, and this is just, this is just wow. Oh, it looks so good. It reminds me of the dungeon in Final Fantasy XIV, uh, and you know it probably is modeled after this. Anyways, we're gonna do the same that we've been doing. Grab these chests. There's two available here. And that contained a Fyra. Woo -hoo -hoo. Why don't we, uh, why don't we, listen, why don't we go ahead? Why don't we get rid of this? Why don't we put some Fyra on? You know what I'm saying? Get out of here, Fire. And the way that we have to, oh shoot. You look scary. I'm just gonna run away from you and we're gonna go this way. Look at how easy, it's so easy to escape from battles. It really is. So we're gonna head this way for our confrontation. And if we look at the map, we'll see that we're, we gotta go through this little thing here and we'll see our second chest there and a very scary looking enemy ahead of us. Go ahead and get that Asuna materia, which is also very, very good. And start fights against Death Claws, which luckily for us are weak to fire. Watch out for that buzz. Don't get hit by slaps. And we really, really do not wanna get hit by any of the enemies here. One attack from them will probably kill us, especially if it's an actual attack from them. So we're gonna come over here and see if we can get... Perfect! Slaps was defeated. Watch out for Death Claws. They are such a scary looking enemy. Like, just the design of them is just terrifying. Go ahead and pop an Aether here so that we can cast more Fyra. What a good time to get Fyra. See what I mean? 404 damage from that. That is just crazy. There we go. One death claw done. And only one more to do, which means that we're a little bit safer. And one more attack. There we go. Death claw is defeated. We get a magic Mako stone. And a luck Mako Stone from completing the mission. Yeah, it's a little dirty, but hey, you, we got it done. Which means, my friends, we have completed all of 8-2. That is all done. 
getting all the treasure chests that we could as well, which is pretty nice. Completion progress, after all of those, 2%. Yeah. And of course, now that we've done that, we're gonna go to the materia room and turn in all of those stones that we just received. Hey, you have a Mako stone with you already. Can you leave that with us, possibly? We can make it into materia. And we gave the stone to the researcher. Oh yeah, if you want, you can stay and watch us generate materia. And you can skip this, but let's go ahead and watch the first one. Commencing materia generation. All hands, confirm status. Ready, sir. Main engine is on standby. Just give the word. Main engine online. Report Mako concentration rate. Concentration rate at 20, 30, 40. Steady at 50%. Increase main engine output. The first 30 seconds of the process is crucial. Aye, aye, sir. Output, 80% and rising. Concentration, still static. Ready cooling system. Increase Mako output to maximum. Output at 120%. One minute until we reach critical point. Mako energy concentration rate is rising. 70, 80, 90% and still going up. All right. Hang on, we're almost there. What a, what a, what a, what a, Concentration wow. rate confirmed at 100%. Shut down main engine. Main engine shutdown confirmed. Hello, Materia. The materia is complete. That's so wild! Mm. And it's a good one. It was made from your Mako stone. So this materia belongs to you. Actually, it's been a long time since we made any materia here in the materia room. What have you all been doing? Like everyone, we have our problems. Drinking. Depression. I get it. And that will give us an Asuna. All right, let's go through the rest, and I'll, sk I'll, I'll skip that. And we get a poison materia, and that's exactly why we did this. We get a poison. There are a few here that are going to be very hey, important. You have and we get a silence materia from our magic Mako stone. I can't thank you enough, but I'm afraid that the materia room will be shut down soon. Why? Materia research and development is spearheaded by arms development, which is under the command of Director Scarlet. Oh. But the Materia Room belongs to the Soldier Department. The Materia Room's underperformance is due to lack of funds and staff, unlike the well-endowed arms development. And we get a Silence Blade from our HP M Mako Stone. We can always count on you to come through for us, Zack. I'm happy to report to you. Our materia's reputation has been growing as of late. So much so, in fact, that Director Scarlet, who wanted to shut us down, was humiliated at a board meeting. I'm happy to hear that. As it stands, the materia room's performance is neck and neck with arms development now. Really, we can't thank you enough for your help, Zach. And all I did was like 10 minutes worth of missions. And the super important materia that we'll get from the attack Mako stone there is gravity. Super, super important. Now that we're mass-producing quality materia, the plan to shut us down has been completely scrapped. Zack, truly, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much. Forget losing my job. They just gave me a big bonus. This is all thanks to you. Nice. And we get the Master Mako Stone Miner Trophy. Prevented the materia room from being shut down. We're look at us, and that was our last luck, uh, our last Mako stone. That was the luck one, which gives gives us region or Reagan, if you will. My dream is to newly establish a materia department within the Shinra Company. It's still just a pipe dream, but I'm gonna keep working until it comes true. Hey, there are worse things happening at Shinra, so good luck with that. And nobody else will say anything about us saving the department, but hey, you know what? Whatever, it's fine. Thanks, bud. 
Anyways, the combination of two of the materia that we just received is actually pretty crazy strong and is going to allow us to defeat things that we normally would not be able to defeat. So, with gravity, gravity is absurdly strong, my friends. It enables magic that reduces the enemy's HP by a quarter. And, well, it's just pretty crazily good. We're actually going to switch out our Assault Twister as well here, just because we're not going to be able to survive a lot of the attacks from a lot of the different enemies that we'll be coming up against. And instead, we're going to do Poison. Poison uh, poisons the enemy. Think of the combination between gravity and poison, and suddenly... Huh. You know what I mean? from the future here. Uh, listen, I was editing this episode and it just ended up being way too long. So I'm cutting it here and then I'm going to have the rest of how we're going to break this game in the next episode, episode four. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience in this series. I've, I've been taking a break while I've been working on some of the things in the background and hopefully that means that we'll be able to produce more videos and faster. So thank you so much for watching. Right now showing up on screen is a video that YouTube thinks you're going to like as well as the playlist for the full crisis core. If you're not subscribed yet and you haven't hit that bell, please do so. And hey, I've asked a couple of questions throughout this episode, but let me know if you've made it this far. Do you want to see a bite-sized guide that contains the information from this episode and the, the next episode in one little, one little section that will show you how you can get super overpowered and just dismantle this game? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.